almighty God, humbly acknowledging our need for thy guidance in all things and laying aside all private and personal interests, we beseech thee to grant that we may conduct the affairs of this house and of our country to the glory of thy holy name, the maintenance of true religion and justice, the honor of the Queen, and the public welfare, peace, and tranquility of New Zealand. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Honourable Leader of the House. Uh, Mr Speaker, next week the House is in the uh, autumn recess, but when the House resumes on Tuesday the 1st of May, the Government will look to progress a number of bills on the order paper, including the remaining stages of the Appropriation 2010-11 Financial Review Bill, uh, and the committee stages of the Regulatory Reform Bill, the Airports Cost Recovery uh, Processing of International Travellers Bill, the Sentencing Aggravated Factors Amendment Bill, and the Trade Safeguard Measures Bill. Mr Speaker, I have circulated to parties bills that we hope to cover in the next parliamentary session. The Honourable Trevor Mallard. Of the House of Athens ask him uh, a, a little group of questions around one particular bit of legislation, and that is the legislation to give effect to uh, the proposed agreement with Sky City Casino, uh, an assurance that it won't be in the next three-week block, that it won't be budget uh, night legislation, that it won't be a confidence vote, uh, and that the personal vote that's involved in it will not be overridden by the national whips, uh, and there will be a conscience vote for all members on it. The Honourable Jerry Brown. Uh, Mr Speaker, the Shadow Leader of the House has asked me to give confirmation to his proposal that the Government does nothing. I won't do that. <laughs> Are there any petitions? The petition of Stefan Browning requesting that the House take note that 2,330 people have signed a petition demanding the withdrawal of two block offers and that a permit for offshore oil exploration be declined. Are there any papers? I hereby present the report of the Controller and Auditor General entitled Local Government Results of the 2010-11 Audits, and that paper is published under the authority of the House. Are there any select committee reports? Report of the Education and Science Committee on the 2010-11 Financial Review of Ag Research Limited, reports of the Local Government and Environment Committee on the 2010-11 Financial Review of the Energy Efficiency and Conservation Authority, and on the report from the Controller and Auditor General on local government improving the usefulness of annual reports, and a report from the Controller and Auditor General on managing freshwater quality challenges for regional councils. The committee reports on the Controller and Auditor General's reports on local government and on managing freshwater quality are set down for consideration. Are there any bills for introduction? Illegal contracts, unlawful limitation on regulators' powers amendment bill introduction, parental leave and employment protection, six months paid leave amendment bill introduction, lobbying disclosure bill introduction. Those bills introduced are set down for first reading. The House now comes to a oh, point of order, the Honourable Trevor Miller. Uh, I, I just wanted to check uh, through you with the Leader of the House uh, whether he's proposing to take leave soon for the House to rise at five. I don't think he's yet taken the leave to give effect to the Business Committee decision. You have? Uh, yeah. Sorry, Mr Speaker. Uh, the Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Uh, Mr Speaker, I had thought that was a Business Committee determination. It's agreed by the Business Committee, but as uh, determined by the Business Committee, I seek leave that the House uh, rise at five today for the autumn recess. Leave is sought for that purpose. Is there any objection? There is no objection. The House now comes to questions for oral answer and the first question